Hello guys, this is my first advanced tutorial on this channel. Before we start, I just want to say that this tutorial is not for you if you don't know the basics of Lua-like tables, functions, and so on. In this tutorial you will learn the concept of object-oriented programming in Lua, the self keyword, and we will make our own Kilberg module so you understand it more. Let's start by learning object-oriented programming in Lua. So basically, object-oriented programming is when you have a class from which you create blueprints called objects. This is useful if you want to create many clones of something without rewriting code. For example, you could have a zombie class and create many zombies or even zombie types with it. I'm going to show you an example so you can understand it better. We are going to make a person class. Start by creating an empty table called person. This is our class that will help us create objects. In this case, the objects are different persons. Now create a function inside the person called new. It doesn't matter what you call the function, but new is a good name for it. This function is called a constructor, and it helps us create objects. Now return an empty table. Our person objects are going to have a name and an age that we can set. To do that, just pass in a name and an age as parameters and create a key for both of them in the table and pass in the parameters as values for the keys of the table we are returning. Now we can create a new person using the function. Let's print person1 to see what happens. Guess what it's going to print. Comment your guesses down below. As you can see, it printed a table with the key name that has the value Joe and the key age that has the value 39. Let's create more persons. What do you think is going to happen when I print out person 3 instead of the person 1? You have time to think about it. Let's see what happens. It printed the same keys as person 1, but this time the values are changed. That means that objects are like the same type, but with different properties that you can customize. For example, a fish can be red, small, fast, or anything like that, but it still will be a fish. Now some of you may think what is with set meta table, but we come to that later. Let's say we want our persons to be able to announce a greet. We can add that function to every single class like this. Now you may think, how the heck are we supposed to know which person is calling the function? This is where self comes into the play. Self is just a variable for the current table. It is used in, I explain it in depth later. Let's also create a function to get the age and the name of the person. What do you think is going to happen when I call one of these functions on person 5? Haha, ha, it was a trick question. It will spit out an error because person 5 doesn't have a function called get info. I'll show you why and how to fix. So logically, we could just assign a function to a key of our table, but there is a way better way of doing it. We are going to use a function called set meta table, which will assign our person table as the meta table of the table we return. Let's put our table as the first parameter of the set meta table function. The second parameter is going to be the person table. Set meta table also returns the table we gave as the first parameter.
Let's try again. As you can see, it didn't work because the person 5 still doesn't have the function. That is because we didn't set the underscore underscore index of the person table to anything. So what underscore underscore index does is basically when we try to reach a method or a key of a table, Lua tries to find the key inside the underscore underscore index table of the table's meta table if any, if it can't find the field inside the original table. Let me demonstrate this with an example. Let's assign underscore underscore index a person to a table with just one key and try accessing that key from person 5. You can think of it like everything inside underscore underscore index will be copied into that table. Let's create a key called hobbies and try accessing it from person 5. The autocomplete already shows us the key. It works, but it is sad that person 5 doesn't have any hobbies. Let's put the table into a variable. By the way, this doesn't have to be called self, it's just good practice to do. You may be thinking, why not just declare the functions inside the constructor and we won't need set meta table anymore, but it has many reasons why not, and it is bad for inheritance, which is another topic. If you want me to do a tutorial on it, comment it down below. Now let me explain self, it basically is a variable for the object it's used in. For example, if I call this function from person3, self will be same as person3. It actually is exactly same as making a global function, passing in a parameter called self, and every time you call that function passing the table you want self to be in it. If you use self you have to use a colon or else it won't work. This here is an example of what self is, if you watch closely you will understand it. What do you think? Is it going to print? It printed some value because we tried printing the key name some key and because self is equal to the table, it's used in it will print some value. This here is exactly what Lua does under the hood. It outputted the exact same result. This was part one of this tutorial. Please consider liking and subscribing. If this video gets over 55 likes, I will do part two. Have a good day.